Okay. Maybe now we will have a live stream that works with audio and video and everything's okay and nothing is melting. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not completely sold on that being the case just yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking at everything. The audio is probably okay. The video is capturing okay. I had to go unplug the capture card and go unplug the GPU and swap some stuff around. I didn't realize how complicated this was going to end up being. You might think, Reese, how, how is it any different than any normal live stream? Well, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. I wanted to record locally at a different quality and resolution than live streaming. And one GPU was not enough. Have we talked about my trio of 16 series cards that I have accumulated over the years somehow? Well, I have a 1660 Ti that I bought shortly after the 16 series cards came out because I wanted that new NVENC encoder so I could do 4K encoding. Uh, and then later on, I bought a 1650. And I don't know where it is. I looked everywhere for it today. But I do have a 1660 Super that I got from Brenton when he upgraded to a 3060. Get out of here or are you not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming? That is a made-up error, YouTube. I reject that that is a real problem you are having. That is not a real thing. You're not getting enough video. You are making that up. That is false and a lie. And I refuse to abide by it. I'm going to ignore you. How is the audio? Okay. So I've got a 1660 uh, Super and a 1660 Ti, all wedged in one computer, e trying to like do NVENC on both of the cards at once, so one is doing the live stream at slightly different settings than what the other one is doing the recording. And everything was fine until I crawled down there and I was disconnecting cables and trying to get audio fixed. Uh, and then, for whatever reason, uh, the card decided that even though I had it set up in OBS to do Z card 0 and card 1, it was like, no, no, I'm going to load everything on the same card regardless of what you tell me to do because I hate you, which is how I feel right now. I hate you too, OBS. But I think it's all okay. I think we're all okay now. So I'm going to click the button and we're going to restart and we're going to do the intro exactly the same as we did it last time except this time there will be audio uh, audio there will be like you'll be able to hear the dialogue this time also i've got a burp again already good gosh mm. okay here we go is this going to be the same as booting it for the first time i closed it in intentionally but look at this continue game i don't want to continue game to kill a dominant. I actually want to restart entirely if I can. Can I like delete my local data in some way? Unfollow view, pro no, I, well, maybe. I've not figured out how. Let's just hit the button and see what happens. What's the worst that could actually happen? I don't know. All right, here we go. Gonna do the video intro. Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese and welcome to Final Fantasy 16, the Let's Play Adventure. Um, shoot. I was hoping it would take us into the launch screen again. Can I, like, I guess I can just click new game. Maybe we should just do the intro from hitting new game. That might make more sense. Okay, we're going to do the intro again. Isn't this fun, live stream viewers? Isn't this fun, channel members? Watching how the sausage is made? It's disgusting, isn't it? It's disgusting, the bits and pieces that get shoved into the sausage. I guess we'll just go ahead and skip through all of this as well. There's no reason for this to be in the video. Oh, no, no, no. Action focus. Thank you. And go. Howdy, folks. Moss the Chronicler, who said that the land of Alistheia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Howdy, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to Final Fantasy 16, a game that I very intentionally know nothing about. I watched the first reveal trailer, 
when it was first announced, however long ago that was, at least, what, a year, over a year now ago? And I've not watched any of the other trailers, I don't think. I didn't watch any of the gameplay demos. I haven't, I didn't play the demo that was launched itself. I know nothing about this game because I wanted to go in completely blind and completely fresh. And we're starting out with Ifrit fighting a giant phoenix. And footage that is reminiscent to uh, the Lord of the Rings. We're now plumbing it into the Mines of Moria with an actual, oh, okay, okay, cool. We're firing beads of light from our very body. I'm here for it. Is this the entire game, though? Like, I'm actually curious. Is this, is this what we do throughout the entire campaign? If it's just 60 hours of me spamming the attack button and occasionally evading, I could do that. I, I think I could definitely do that. And if there's, like, a DLC where it's just the same story but from the other perspective where you're playing as Ifrit and you're falling into the mines of Moria while trying to dodge little balls of fire, I would play that for another at least 40-hour DLC. I can easily see myself being entertained by that. I've not lost interest in it yet. I'm completely in invested still, although I didn't effectively dodge there. Kind of looks like I wasn't supposed to, as we as we actually it does look shockingly a lot like the Mines of Moria here, like we're just plummeting into the depths. This game looks amazing. So you, we were given the option to either make it look good or make it run more smoothly. You know, the usual console options. And I did choose a uh, higher frame rate. So I believe it's targeting 60. At least I think I did. I'll, be, I'll level with you. I've played this part before. But the dialogue options weren't, like, there was no dialogue. So I had to actually restart the game and fiddle around with some connections. Uh, so I actually don't remember whether or not I, on the second go-round, set up 60 FPS mode or not. We might have to have a, a little look-see at the settings to determine one way or the other. But for the time being, here's the moment. Let's find out if we can hear what this man says. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stay. Yes. Okay, we don't have to replay this part for a third time. Target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get the facial hair. Let's get this done. You can see the little wisps of the unshaven, like, mustache. That's some good-looking fire, too. Well... That is unfortunate timing. Cool. See, this is what's fun about not knowing anything about the game. I don't know who any of these people are or what we're doing here. I, I'm going in as blind as possible right now. I have no idea where we are or what any of this is. I've already forgotten most of what was in that first reveal trailer. So I might as well be playing a game delivered directly from Mars, or like a surprise drop that I didn't even know was being made. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Interesting. Okay, so a Wyvern is like a dragon, but that doesn't have the front talons? Yes, Sergeant. Is that relevant? Do we turn into a dragon? It'd be very funny if that were the case. I said focus, Wyvern. I heard you. I heard you. I'm just having a look around here. game looks spectacular. Okay, then. And that's enough looking around for now. Uh, press... I'm, I'm assuming that... I don't know what button that is. Is that this little button with the hamburger logo on top of it? At any time outside a uh, cutscene to open the main menu. Gameplay configuration settings, including camera inversion, can be adjusted on the system tab. For those oddballs who, like, never learned how to use the camera properly... Okay, I mean, what if I want to have a look at the settings? What are you going to do about that? Options on the system tab include wireless controller configuration as well as video, audio, accessibility, and language options. Very neat. Okay, well, I mean, here's a question for you. We can do a save. We can do action focused, which is uh, obviously what we wanted to go with. Target lock is on toggle. Where do I change frame rate? Okay, yeah, no, that, that is set correctly. That's exactly where I wanted it. And then let's crank up the master volume because it's a little bit quiet. 
but then I actually want to have voiceover be the highest thing and then maybe do effects and then music and this is a personal preference because I am an oddball and that is okay I get to be odd this is my YouTube channel let's crank up those subtitles some folks might be watching on like a little phone screen you don't know and it's just be it's just gonna be more useful to have them be nice and big and then speaker names ooh that might be useful okay I think that's good. I think that's good. I think we can carry on from there. Let's go. I'm on my way, sir. Whatever your name is. Uh, should I be calling him sir? Is he in charge? Are we related? What is the situation? I... Tiamat is his name. Are we going to get spoiled now? When someone speaks and we're not supposed to know who they are, but they have the name of the speakers right above their subtitles? That would be kind of funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, well they look a little silly when they run. It looks much better when you zoom in. It does look much better. My man's a wizard. How are they not just winning? Oh, they got chocobos, come on! See, now I kind of wish this was just like a real-time strategy game. This looks like it would be fun to control. Or to be down in the middle of. Can I join the fray? Something tells me no. Something tells me we're going to watch this epic battle from a distance. And then just crawl through the rocks a bit more. Which is unfortunate. These iron blood are more beast than man. Well, that's racist, well, but going. okay. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. Boy, I can't wait to find out what a dominant is. They're talking about them like they're really important. I suppose if you've either played the game yourself or you did keep up with all of the information about the game in the lead up to the release, you might find my ignorance frustrating. Did you not pledge? Your but I love that I know nothing. Cause. Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Walud? It's like a brand of drinking straw. And you have His Majesty's answer. <sighs> In a world where you can just get water from a crystal, how is this not all just beautiful, like, verdant forests? Would you not just walk around just, like, planting trees and squeezing water out of crystals to make them grow? I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms. Was it not? No idea what she's talking about, but I hope she keeps talking. Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. Now that is a man. Look at the size the of that Crusaders fella. will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. He could bench press the rock. And Vin Diesel. One on either side of a bar just Which just leaves me. What does he do? Does he just walk out into the front of the battlefield and the enemy team surrenders? They set foot on storm. Enemy army, whatever, team. This game is over.
I'm not sure if these are supposed to be the good guys or the bad guys. I mean, she looks like a bad girl to be sure. I, I don't care. I just want to watch this man smash things. Uh, maybe we're about to see that. You know what I'm saying? You cock. <laughs> the odds are increasing. Benedicto. <laughs> oh my gosh, I called it! How about that? Wait, this is actually happening. Yeah. Is this acceptable for you two? Hold Does on. the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. I regret streaming this. We are recording this um, live for channel members, by the way. I got spicy. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Yeah, okay. No opportunity to fight in the fray, I guess. That's perfectly fine, though. You know what? We're not even really equipped to fight in a battle like that anyway. So I actually do need this opportunity out here in these rocks to, like, really, like, stretch my legs and figure out the controls. Like, for instance, jump. Didn't know how to do that. Know how to do that now. Fully prepared for combat. Give me an attack button. I'm assuming it's going to be square. But hitting square doesn't really do anything. Oh, also, it does say to jump over there on the, uh, the right side of the screen underneath where my face is probably going to end up, but I wanted to be honest with you. And I figured that out by myself before always. I noticed that. <sighs> Take the van. Oh, hot diggity, they got vehicles. That was up. Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> See, I thought that was some sort of a dragon, but then it was just a hand. So the Dharmaks finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Is this big boy? Ha! And look who's here to greet the bastard. Large crystal. This is visually incredible. Like this is a spectacle a spectacle to behold. So I have an assumption, and this might be like the dumbest thing I say in this entire Let's Play. But what I, I, I'm assuming is happening is that they have people that can turn into... Well... Like these titans here. Is that how this works? So is, is it going to end up being like one of the main characters can actually turn into Ifrit or something like that? Like effectively they can become the summons or something along those lines? Because I'm assuming this is uh, this is big guy, right? This is big fella. Oh, if this is on me to save him, oh thank goodness! I don't have the reaction time for something you like don't that. Get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Hard cut from cutscene into actual gameplay there. Oh, buddy. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to find an alternate route, and hopefully you're leading the way. 
like a hot wheel. Oh no, I'm on my own now. This is kind of insane that this is happening. Like, I mean, look what's happening on our screen right now. The landscape is falling apart around us. This is truly next generation. Although nothing's ever going to beat that train from the second uh, Uncharted game. I could not remember the name of the series. I just kept wanting to say Nathan Drake. You know, the Nathan Drake series. Listen, I can't move. The game won't let me. It was rumbling a little bit too much. Oh, here we go. Everyone knows it's very difficult to run when there's a little shake in the ground. That's why it's so hard to get away from earthquakes. It's not all the debris and everything. It's the trembles going through your legs. It just makes it impossible for you to move. It's like the vibrations of the earth are misaligned with the vibrations of your body. Yeah, I think... Can we all acknowledge that these people would be dead? I mean, typical video game physics, right? Like, it's fine. They can slide down this solid rock using nothing but their, their clothing and armor. It's like, oh, good lord. Well, he's just a little splattered bit of nothing now, isn't he? That was unexpectedly brutal. Told you before, you do not get to die here. That's good that we don't have permission, otherwise it might be tempting. Yeah, no, he gone, dude. Let it go. Oh no. Guys. Oh, don't do this. Don't you do this. Don't make us have emotion for someone we just got watched. Getting splatted. This is cruel. This is awful. And the fact that they're doing it after we just watched him get squished is even worse. Do you yield? Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. No. Right? Don't you do this. Don't give up now. Oh my gosh. This is this is cruel and and hateful. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Oh. Surely swords would be better than arms though. Combat tutorial? Again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Okay, well, as you can see, this is uh, my general form. This is just me kind of standing. Let's see, press square to perform melee attack. Use uh, up to four attacks can be chained together. All right, I can do that. Mm. Once more, please. Happily. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. So we're the phoenix? Is that is that what that means? Can we turn Sandra, into a phoenix? Rain fire down upon me. Yeah, let me figure out how. Just give me one second. I need to wait for a tutorial to pop up on the screen. Cast fire. Okay, gotcha. <sighs> Okay, so I guess I'm not supposed to uh, spam it. Well done. You wield the firebirds. That man just tanked getting fire burnt on the chest. You flatter me. Like little balls of fire just burst against his face and body, and he just stood there smiling. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. 
Oh, here we go. Do I need to time these dodges? Because that's not... I'm not capable of doing that. That is impossible. Okay. Press R1 to evade an enemy's attacks. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt it will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. All right, let's go. Oh, to be so young and... It's got a good window of opportunity here, which I can't say for something else I've been playing recently. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. Good. Move only when you must. Good. My old man slow brain can absolutely Remember work within these com com strides. Not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. Do we turn into a giant phoenix? Granted the use of its power. Yes. Call upon that power now to close on me. Are we going to turn into a giant phoenix? How do I do? I gotta wait. Learn how to do it, little man. Close the gap. The blessing of the phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such e iconic feat. Uh, press O to swiftly close the distance on the target. Both melee and ranged attacks can be used while executing a phoenix shift. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Before he can raise his guard. There we go. All right. Good for getting up close and personal. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended. And your energies replenished. How would you advise that I do this? You seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. I kind of want to go explore. Can I like walk around here? This place is really cool looking. Right. Okay. Consumables, potions, assigned to. Yep. And blah 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 blah. All right. Looks like I've got high potions and regular potions. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. Okay, so this is it. This is where it gets real. Worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. Absolutely. Let me try to remember everything I was just shown over the course of the last five minutes like I didn't just forget it. This gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back, break their spirit by landing attacks, and strike them when they are vulnerable. Go Interesting. Be sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on. Seriously? Keep going, Clive. Oh, you son of a gun. We got him there in the end. No, come on, let's finish him off. Uh, Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, or Murdoch if you're so inclined. Leave him staggered, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his sense. Use R2 plus uh, square to execute Rising Flame, a powerful, iconic ability granted to Clive by the Blessing of the Phoenix. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, I'll do that. That is like a that is a pretty big attack, but I can only do it the one time. What about Phoenix Shift? Oh, I I can already do that at any time. That's right. I used all the tools at my disposal. Go on, 
inside. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. You're a damnably quick learner, Lord Russ. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm getting good. Ah. We did it! Oh. Pats on the back all around. I think we did spectacular. Ah. I. <sighs> you got beat by a child, man. There's no recovering from that. Lost. The only thing you can do now is retire and become like a baker or something. That was a display worthy of your father. Ooh, is dad dead? You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. He's been embarrassed in front of his men now. They know that he's weak. It's like an injured, like, alpha in the wild. One of the other dogs is just going to start, like, gnawing on his throat now. Oh, brother. Easy does it. Oh, is this hot girlfriend? Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> uh, that's dead little brother. That got squished Kids, by a rock. Are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. Oh, he's sickly, bless him. Coughing this morning too. You shouldn't be outdoors. We'll be fine. It's just a cold. You shouldn't be outdoors. You never know when a giant rock might fall on your head and squish you flat. Just returned. Father's back. Oh, good. Dad's not dead. But what about mom? Is mom dead? Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Mom's not dead either. Everyone's got a happy family and mom's kind of hot. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. So maybe dad is dead. This is the Lord we're speaking of here. This is Mama. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. She's covering her mouth because you know he stinks. You know how preteen boys Good day are. To you, mother. He never showers. He just goes up to his room and douses himself in axe body spray. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Dad's alive, I guess. I, I keep going back and forth on this. Why does she not like me? Murdoch. Am I like a Jon Snow situation? Why does our brother look so much like Lord Murdoch? Oh, there's I'm, I'm like playing Game of Thrones here in my mind. Like there's a lot of to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. I'm just assuming like illicit affairs and, and backroom deals. We should join it you. might just be family drama, you know, it might just be as simple as that. How was that attached? You got a magnet back there? Now, you did not lift it up high enough to get it... Whatever. You know what, we're not going to overthink it. There's no benefit to that. Are we getting back to the present now? Or are we going to keep living in the past where our brother isn't dead? Dad, I have a theory that Mom's been cheating on you with the Captain of the Guard. It's just a guess. I want to point out that Joffrey's hair doesn't look anything like yours. Just throwing that out there, Dad. Rise, my friends. Do you feel like you could take someone seriously riding a chocobo? Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Like in the real world? Is that so? If a president or a king came riding up to an address in the back of a chocobo, would you be like, ah, yes. Quiet, Stop it, boy. Not now. 
He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. If this dog dies at some point, too, so help me. That'll be worse than the brother getting squished flat. Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. It's a lot to dump on a child. Isn't truly so grave. Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Your grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed. I gotta get out of here. He's gonna, he's gonna realize eventually that hair don't match. you're going hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke right wow so we're just like full on sunrise sunset we're in the past now whatever was happening at the start of the game irrelevant forget about it does not matter. Two massive titan forces colliding with one another, your brother getting squished flat, irrelevant. Embrace the moment that is the past. Uh, let's see, you should find your, should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instincts to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will do, be displayed with whatever that little red oblong shape is. I'm not too concerned by it at all. I want to explore. I need to speak with Father. I mean, need is a strong word. I think right now what we need to do... this lot before we lose the light. Yeah, I'm with you. I'd love to help you because I'd love to explore around here. But I've kind of get the sense that the game is not going to allow it. Which is okay as well. This frame rate's a bit rough. It's a little bit rough. I'm not sure if we're actually getting... Oh my gosh, it's a little bit... It's making me a little bit nauseous, actually. Is there like a motion blur turned on right now? I feel like there must be. Can I turn that off? Is, is there like a, an ability to turn that off? Attributes tab, provide a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level, status, abilities, and gear. That's handy, but also not at all what I needed to look at. Okay. The gear and icons tab. I think it's supposed to be pronounced maybe icons. Icons, icons. Uh, tab is used to equip weapons and armor, as well as assigning icons ability uh, abilities to available slots. Give me something about, like, a motion blur. Let me turn it off. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, if it's in there, it's not going to let us change it, which is unfortunate. Well, I guess we just carry on, then. Was that... Wait, was that, like, the bottom half of a person? Did anyone else see that? Did it... Was I imagining that? That looked like just the bottom half of a human being with no top. At the top of the stairs, am I crazy? I could be crazy. Good as new. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Bungling cur is a great, in, like, insult. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Clive seems like a pretty chill guy. Come along now. I'm confused about the girl, though. Is that supposed to be our little sister? 
Or is that like a love interest? I'm not sure which. I feel like it could go either way. I can't tell what that expression is. Is that, my big brother's so cool and I'm proud of him? Or is that like, hey, big boy, what? I guess it could actually be both, you know what? Someone's hungry. In sort of a medieval setting, it could be both. Now that I think about it, and that makes me uncomfortable. Are we, are we trying to find epic loot? Because I do see something on the ground over here. Is this actually something I can reach is the only issue. Hot diggity. Uh, useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed from the items tab in the main menu, but at least tell me what I found there. A high potion? Hot dog. What's up, man? How are you doing? Fine display, my lord. My lord. Felt sorry for the lord commander. Our lord commander. Nearly felt sorry for him. That's a wonderful display there, sir. So hold on. Is this giant tub of blue something I can collect as well? Or is this part of the cooking? Oh, this is where we get water from. They're just executing on my idea I had earlier. I'm having my bearer feel. Okay. Well, we found a high potion, which means that there's likely going to be other things that we can find if we give this place a thorough going over. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's just the high potion. There's people to talk to, though. My man and I labor always for the glory of the duchy. It's these guys. It's these goobers. I feel like we should probably progress the plot at some point. I don't think they're going to let me go through the big doors. And it really does appear like there's not much else to find here. This is definitely just early starting tutorial area. Oh, I mean, I spoke too soon. Because there's another potion. See, it was all worth it in the end. You folks doubted me. But at the end of the day, my expert exploration skills came in handy. We are now more prepared for whatever awaits us beyond this door. It's another door. And beyond that door? Nice and quiet. Oh, I know this. This is that garden outside of Mickey's Castle in Kingdom Hearts. There's a gummy ship out here somewhere. You get to go here actually and wander around in what, the second game I believe it is? I do see another potion, too. I like that it's got a nice big tail coming off of it, so you can at least spot it from a bit of a distance. You don't have to be right on top of it. And I, it was another potion, too. Wait, did we say we saw Joshua? What's he doing? Just standing out here? How you doing, little bro? Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you, and I will protect you, always. I know. Thank you, Clive. I mean, unless there's a giant rock falling towards your head, in which case there's very little I'm going to be able to do. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All yeah. other concerns are insignificant. Who are you telling this to? These ladies? What do you expect them to do about it? These look like ladies-in-waiting. It looks like they're going to replace the sheets, like, like freshen up the linens. And she's over here, like, imagine you work in a castle, and your job is to just, like, fluff the pillow for the queen. And she's like, we gotta protect the boy! Always protect the boy! What, do you, what, do you, what am I, what am I going to do? Just be, learn how to fight with a laundry basket? What do you want from me, queen? Or duchy, whatever, whatever, duchess? That's, I think that's the feminine, yeah. Uh, some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. This is like when you're a kid and your parents are like, Open up the refrigerator, all your strength! And you're, like, you're doing something real basic, but they hype it up. So you feel like you've done something really successful, like you've really accomplished something grand. All I did was hold down a button, but the game made me feel special about it, which is all I needed. Who are you? Are we related? Are we in love? What What is our relationship? Is that mine or your dog? I need answers. You commanded my presence, your grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. 
do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. So many terms, I just have no idea what they're talking about. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. The Blight, the Mother Crystal. Right for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. Drake's then breath. We, to the words of our we were talking about Uncharted earlier. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Was what we saw at the beginning of this game like the end of the game? <laughs> how much of... how much of... Uh, maybe this is what the demo was. I think the demo was supposedly about two hours? And shut your mother up for good. <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Ooh, I got a little jittery there. Hold, I guess, the gigantic button in the middle of the controller to access the Active Time Lore feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. So this is going to tell us, like, information. I'm hitting the giant button. I guess I got to hold it. Okay. So this has like all of the information of things that I don't understand. The Mother Crystals, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, the Iron Kingdom, Rosalith Castle, Elwyn uh, Rosefield. I mean, the Mother Crystal is the one thing. Uh, enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the land of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on for their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich uh, with aether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For those reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other over the possession of their blessing. So they're big crystal mountains that make magic. I gotcha. Also known as the local tongue... Also known in the local tongue as Heron, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation uh, situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Loisgd. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking culture. Okay, so now we kind of get the idea of who they are. I think I've got a pretty good understanding of the duchy and the Dutch king lord, whatever his title is. So I think we could probably go ahead and retire to our chambers and prepare for the journey to the swamps tomorrow to deal with Shrek and his friends.
or or the goblin men or whatever no we're supposed to be doing. Lord. Good, because I don't really care about anything else going on right now, and if you had like a side quest for me, I'd honestly ignore it. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. And so is Joshua. a dominant someone who could turn into... So ill. Can Joshua turn into a phoenix is what I I'm asking. Know that. But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years... He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Why do you hate him? Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. That's your son! As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. Give some great exposition here. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Why do you say are? Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Mom, I'm, 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 I'm questioning Mom. She seems sus. Sus as Gus. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. Can we address who this is? You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. What about large boulders? Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. Oh, I get it. Is she like a ward really ends, from a neighboring nation to keep peace? No. The 
the next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Gosh, we sure hope that's the case. It's getting cold. Definitely not a sister, please. In. Increasingly, I, I'm, I'm desperate for that to not be the case. With the creepy hand situation. Good night, Clive. A little red spot next to the moon and is it significant it's gonna come back it's gonna be it's gonna be important bad omen or some such sorry ambrosia we won't be hunting today Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. See you later, Jill of questionable origin. Maybe she'll be added to the a little glossary we can check and we can read up on her. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. I have a feeling this is going to go poorly. As grace departs, open the gates. Yeah, if Clive is Wyvern, then I think we have to assume that something goes wrong here, and he has to change his name and become like a Lord Rossfield, allow me. A, a roving mercenary of some kind, because Thank you. the family's being hunted after the kingdom was destroyed. I'm just like projecting my own thoughts into the future here. We'll see what happens. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. Let's not all get too attached to each other. Neither of you have names, so... If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So, wait. Sir Tyler. Okay, good. They've got names now. Let us do our duty. They might survive. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. Maybe we forge a bond. Maybe they become my companions. Maybe I refer to one of them as my brothers, and it's one of them that gets squished by a rock. The blessing of the crystals go with us. Maybe. I don't know. I, again, just spitballing. Oh my gosh, there's a map. This is fun. The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins across, uh, currently available to Clive via fast travel. Right, oh. So this is still wind. Well, that might be a good place to call it for today. We'll continue this adventure uh, next time. Bye. Okay, I'm going to stop that recording, and I'll tell you what. I think we could probably enable chat. Having done this for the last like hour or so... I don't think that chat with as few people are, who are popping in would actually be that big of a distraction. So I think I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And we'll see what comes of it. We'll see what comes of it. Let's see. Enable live chat. Members can chat. I mean, naturally members can chat because... I, I don't even think I need to specify that. It's a members only stream, so anyone can chat. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cool. I will go ahead and I will copy. Let's see. 
So we do have the disclaimer on screen. We can get rid of that. Can I pin a chat message? Is that possible? I can pin. Okay, let's see. Um, howdy, folks. This is a live recording session. So I will not be engaging with chat often. No, you are not being ignored. Well, you are, but it isn't because I am being mean. And then we'll add an emoji. We'll add like a little laughing emoji. Ha ha. Let's see. There we go. A little happy emoji. Beautiful. Send a message. And then I will pin that message. Howdy folks, this is a live recording session, so I will not be engaging with the chat often. No, you are not being ignored. Nope. Oh, well, you are, but it isn't because I'm being perfect. Okay. So there we go. So the chat is now open and available uh, for anyone who wants to pop in and say hi, but I will not be acknowledging it all that much. And I guess I should probably leave the disclaimer up, but just alter it. So how do you remember to from now recording this game from the mythic tier which should be used? The chat. So it says that the chat is disabled. We'll have to like let's see. Enabled. But I want to focus on the gameplay and commentary. I'm gonna stream the folks for you folks to watch. The video. Perfect. Okay. So just that slight alteration. I think is fine. There we go. Also, hello, Gildirm. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. All right, so I'm going to start recording for the next session, which means that... I'm sorry, I keep doing this with my mustache. It's getting a little bit long, so I keep, like, dragging it out and trying to, like, keep it out of my upper lip. And it's starting to do this little curly thing on the end, which is kind of fun, but... That's why I keep doing that. I'm going to start the next recording session, so I'm about to do an intro. It's weird to do. It's, this is weird. This is all. It's all very weird. We're all coming to terms with it. This is. We're going to have to get used to this kind of recording. I don't think I'm going to do it for everything, but probably for this game. All right. <clears throat> Howdy, folks. How are you doing today? Welcome to this little world where we play. Together you and I will make great things. This is this is the tech no This is the tech at Legends Let how did it go? This is the tech at Legends Let's Play. Something like that? That's not the intro. That's not what we're doing. <clears throat> Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play Adventure. We are continuing our journey with Clive, and we are heading towards Stillwind. There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted boughs. Now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape the forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the Deadlands to make their bogs their home. The bogs their home. To make homes in the bogs for themselves. I don't know what the Deadlands are. Uh, I, maybe we should have read up on that. It could have something to do with the Black Smire or whatever was mentioned previously that's hanging above the world or whatever. The story, we're not quite, haven't wrapped our minds around it entirely, but we're coming to terms with it. We're figuring it out. Is is the girl our sister? Is she our love interest? Is she a platonic friend? Or maybe some other secret third thing? We don't know yet. We'll find out. Is the brother that died last time our actual brother, the Phoenix? Or one of these guys? Because we all become really good friends. We'll find... We don't know. I have no way of knowing. I wasn't paying enough attention during the intro to see their names. We'll discover the truth as we go when we continue to hunt goblins. Real question is, lost in the fog, can we be creepy and sneaky? Is that a possibility? Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strike. Now, this is for, like easy mode which is there's nothing wrong with that 
you know, heaven knows I'm not very good at video games, but still. What does this do? Sorry? Oh yeah, now we're really we're really like cooking with well gas here. Path. But who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. I don't need your sass, Tyler. Alright, that's definitely not what I need. Used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Got us a couple of gill. Hopefully we can find some place to spend all that money. Maybe we'll find like an old hermit living in Stillwind who's still like holding out hope that someday it'll all be restored to its former glory. That is definitely not the path forward. So I guess, I mean, can we not simply, oh, we can crouch. I take it back. I thought it was going to make me jump onto and climb over the log. And I thought that was going to be a little bit ridiculous. Gollum? Are these the goblins? Why does it look like their ears are attached to headbands? Did anyone else see that? Okay, it's probably not the twig that's snapping. Oh, it's because they're wearing little hats. It's probably more so the... the <gasps> because twigs snap in the forest all the time, but very rarely are they followed by someone going... <gasps> Like, that's sus. Like, you're not going to get that from an animal. All right. After striking an opponent with square to conjure a magic explosion... Okay, yeah, I can do that. Watch this. I'll do it right now. It's not working. I'm trying. What did he say to, like... Oh, like that. Like a one-two punch. Okay. Like, almost instantly. These guys are total chumps. We wiped the floor with them. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for the final boss now. We should press on. There may be more ahead. That's true. Or more a tail, even. But are there any, like, treasures to find out here? So far, this is all very linear. I, again, I didn't want to know anything about the game going in. So whether or not it becomes more open world or it stays a series of linear hallways, I'm unsure. To be quite honest, I don't care. I do love a good open world. But I also feel like maybe we've had too many of those over the years. And maybe a, a nice return to... Like, I, Final Fantasy VII, I feel like, did... Or the Final, Final Fantasy VII Remake did a great job of having open environments and an otherwise sort of linear story that were fun to roam around and explore. Even though it was it was less level-based and more so chapter-based, I, I feel like it did a really good blend of the two. Of having a, pl a world that you felt like you could explore... While at the same time never feeling overwhelmed by like there's just so much, you can't focus on any of it. Okay, yeah. Some enemies will drop gill or items on their death. Loot is gathered automatically by approaching the glittering icons. I gotcha. I gotcha. Whoa. So I think I did three attacks and then a fire, and that was uh, considered a combo. Followed by another attack. Yeah, okay. This is definitely going to take some trial and error, I think. These guys are chumps, though. These are way more satisfying to fight than that first guy we had to uh, cross swords with. He was just way too good. I need someone I can just, like, smack and feel empowered by. That's what video games are to me. They're all just a power fantasy. I want to believe that I too can pick up a sword and just start whacking goblins. Even though in real life, swords are heavy and my arms will hurt after a while. You know? Trust me, I know. I have to do a lot of, like, I have to hammer things at work. And you feel real powerful the first time you pick up that sledgehammer and start hammering in an anchor. Once you get about 12 anchors in, you're like, yeah, I don't know. Every part of my arm is a little bit sore now. And I've got to do 12 more of these. You don't really feel powerful anymore. You just kind of feel tired and, and, and sort of wish you had, like, a boring office job. But then you, you actually do something akin to office job work, and you're like, oh, this is much worse. I'd rather be outside doing something. And what you begin to realize is that life is just a series of hassles. Sometimes mentally draining, sometimes physically draining, sometimes emotionally draining. And you begin to wonder, well, geez, what's the point of it all? And you start to question every choice you've made in your life since your childhood. Like, should you have really had a ham sandwich that day when you wanted peanut butter? There's no reason you couldn't have had peanut butter. That's a choice you made. Some of their number of spells. I'm sorry, what? Oh my good gosh. Whoa! Okay, then! 
That's right. We can do like when they're on the ground. Can we do like a finishing blow by holding down? Yeah. I forgot that we have Rising Flame. So that is different. That's not Rising Flame. Rising Flame is uh this. Didn't really work because they were n way too close. Wait, he's still alive, isn't he? No, he's just like slowly dying on the ground. Oh my gosh. I keep hitting the wrong button instead of dodging. I keep hitting R2. Yeah, I'm not doing too hot anymore. It's just, it's the, it's the volume of them that's getting me right now. Beautiful. Okay, we managed in the end. We didn't lose too much health. I don't like the noises they make, though. The constant... It's, it's really disgusting. I mean, whoever did the sound effects on this game should honestly be very proud of their work. Because it is disgusting like a goblin. But also, it's, it's disgusting like a goblin. I suppose it does drive me to defeat them, though. Which I suppose that's, like, the point, isn't it? By the way, there's some fantastic feedback on the controller when you do that. You know, the resistive rear triggers and all that. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It might not be a nest of goblins. Yeah, it might not be. I mean, what do you expect it to be, though, based on everything else? A nest of Gondarks seems unlikely. Wrong franchise. <sighs> Sneaky sods. We're trapped, my lord. I'm working on it. He's the leader. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Care to fit in the hurt? As if you had to ask. So do we actually have to defeat his like little minions before we can fight him? Is that how this works? Boy, howdy! Oh man, they do a great job of making that feel like the most satisfying thing you've ever done in your life. Also, it, it says, like, level 5 goblin, but all I saw was 5G for a second. I was like, this is an odd enemy to have. This is like if your weird aunt on Facebook made a video game, she would make 5G the villain. And you would have to defeat it by, like, bulldozing a tower over, and that would cure cancer and flat earth. Because your aunt's real weird. I don't have a Facebook account anymore. But I saw your aunt's Facebook account before I deleted it. She was an odd duck. This is a fat man! This is if Jabba the Hutt had legs is what I'm looking at right now. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will can stagger it, leaving it unable to act and vulnerable to attacks. Absolutely. That is unfortunate that that's what I did instead of doing a proper dodge. Don't have to tell me twice. This thing has such a massive health bar. It's on par with mine. Okay, I did not dodge far enough away. That's okay. I need to stop hitting that button because that's not the dodge button. Although it was effective. Not dodge soon enough, I guess, that time? Oh. Enemies will become partially staggered when their gauge is reduced to 50%, creating a short window in which combination attacks are easily landed. Absolutely. Yep, I see that. You square just as an opponent attacks to parry a strike, temporarily slowing down time and leaving an op 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 opponent open to counters. Yeah, I mean, that was, like, not an intentional timing on my part. That was just me spamming the attack button. Oh, baby. I think he's still got that hidden on me, though. Completely reducing enemies at will gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered, increasing each strike landed, uh, with each strike landed, up to a maximum of 150%. This total amount of damage dealt during the time is displayed upon the enemy regaining its senses. Righto, so you just want me to keep smacking this man is what you want me to do. I mean, if my friends could get involved in this and, like, help out, that would be swell. You know, I mean, we're dealing... That's quite a bit of damage. We did pretty decent there. Should we, like, lock onto this guy? I feel like we should. 
Oh my good gosh. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. I have no excuse for why I did that. I'm trying to hit the dodge button, but I'm hitting the other button instead. I don't know why. I'm bad at games. I get stressed out, okay? I did it right that time, though. See, yeah, okay, I hit Phoenix Shift. You know what it is? I, it, oh gosh, I've now twice hit the wrong dodge button. I don't know why. Watch this, I'm gonna get it right this time. Only because there's no other buttons left for me to mess up with. Oh, there we go. Let's get Gigas, let's get him. Is that his name, Gigas? Gigas? Gigas. 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 Yeah, is it supposed to be a G or a J sound? Oh, we got him. Is it GIF or or, or, or is it GIF? It could be Jiges. That sounds inappropriate, though. I hope it's not that. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include items, gear, ability points, and experience points. Give me that. Or do I already have it? I guess that's just like signifying it's been added. Oh yeah, this guy. He's still up there. With his weird little fight, you intestine hat. After him, before he summons the rest. No, I want him to summon the rest. I need to prove myself ca capable. Gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab in the main menu. Mastering existing abilities, as well as learning new ones, requires ability points, which are earned in battle or by completing quests. Neato Torpedo. Get me into here and let me have a look at what we got. So we've got one of these now that's going to boost i guess defense by 10 potentially is what that means and then in terms of oh we do actually have oh these are the uh, like makes game easier little jewels that you can add i have nothing against the use of those i simply choose not to engage with them ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones if you are unsatisfied with clive's current build reset all abilities and try again as there's no penalty for doing so good most games should have that Details of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. Indicate uh, sword indicates the ability's capacity for dealing damage, and the little star with the ring indicates the ability's capacity for breaking a target's will. Okay, this is confusing. What are you? Magic bursts, magic, aerial attack, melee attack. Okay, so if I wanted to like upgrade my melee attack, I would I assume hover over that, and then what? Then what would I do? Or maybe I already have that unlocked? Yeah, I guess so, because there's not, like, money underneath it. But what if I wanted to upgrade it? One does not simply upgrade it, I guess. What is this? Use triangle immediately after landing a melee attack to deliver a close-range magic burst. I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for anything. I don't even know why I'm looking at this screen. Best to carry on from here, I suppose. What about my... Uh, do I have any other, like, swords? No. And I don't have any more of those either. So I guess we're pretty much done with what we can do on this screen. Items, I don't know. Ooh, here we go. The items tab contains a list of all non-gear items currently in class possession, including those used in quests. Consumable items such as potions can be used at any time from this tab. Uh, items can also be assigned to shortcuts for quick access during gameplay. Select an item from the consumable list and press square to bring up a shortcut window. After confirming the button it is to be assigned to, press X to confirm the decision. Well, I feel like we're pretty good here. We've got a stone skin tonic, a high potion, and a regular potion. And we do have a strength tonic, but I don't really need one of those right now. I think I'm good. Uh, show me the journal. The journal tab contains information on the main story progress, as well as all current and completed side quests. Uh, we're just currently lost in the fog, and then this is the map, and we've been here before. All right, we're ready to go, I think, maybe. All we did was we uh, equipped some sort of like a leather cuff. Hopefully it comes in handy. We do need that potion, though, because I sustained a great deal of damage due to my inability to hit the right button to dodge. It's not even about the timing. I just kept hitting the wrong button. 
Where's he running off to in such a hurry? And what is he trying to keep us from seeing by going in such a rush? Oh, goodness. We have the best destructible environments, the best falling houses. We have the best annoying goblins. It's the best Final Fantasy. Honestly. Russia does not have Final Fan. Hey, you know what? Let's put a date on this video. As I was sitting down to start recording, I, I was getting these news alerts that apparently there's some sort of private military force uh, currently, like, bearing down on Moscow, which is super entertaining. It just seems like a mess over there right now. It's like they have an actual rebellion. What what people think happened in America on January 6th is actually happening in Russia right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is mostly mouth right there. Keep clear of its war, my lord. Uh, yeah, you don't need to tell me that twice. Honestly, you don't need to tell me that twice. Is, so, are these things the cause of the blight? Or are they a symptom of the blight? Because they do seem to be able to just throw blight at you. Alright. Oh, goodness. Okay, no. Yeah, that was... I hit the right button, but with the wrong timing. Did I actually parry? It wasn't intentional, I know. It, it was not intentional. Oh, yeah, no, that does reek. No, that's awful. Stay away from its mouth. You did. You did say that. Yeah, and I completely disregarded you. I apologize. I'm trying to get around behind it, but it's actually, like, way more difficult. That was a precision dodge. Want to throw that out there? A little magic burst. Followed by another precision dodge, baby! Let's go! And then let's, let's you know what? Yeah, let it do that. I'm going to do this. I'll tell you what doing so good right now. This is incredible. We've actually managed to stagger the darn thing. Just waylay. Just waylay. Two, three. A little bit of fire. One, two, three. A little bit of fire. A little bit of attack. One, two, three. Look at us go! Stacking the damage. And then we dodge. Where's it going? It looks like it's going into the water, if I had oh, to guess. As good as mine. Probably we want to avoid wherever it's coming up at. Oh, goodness. No, I can I do anything about this? Is it going to give me the option to do anything about this? Oh my good gosh. I'm not doing it. I'm doing all of this. I'm hitting a series of buttons so fast you can't see. When the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. Righto. They gave me a ton of time for that, which is appreciated. Now, before it recovers. I see now that the, you can watch the stagger gauge refill, and that's an indicator of how much time you have left before it gets back up and is just really mad at you. Oh, sir. It doesn't appear like we have to worry about like you using too much magic. There's, there doesn't seem to be a gauge for it. So I think I could, like, safely from a distance just run around yeeting fireballs at this thing. And granted, it does not deal a lot of damage. It's still, like, an effective strategy. It literally calls that attack bad breath. Whoa, if bad breath worked like that, how good would that be? Precision dodge, baby! Okay, but you know what? Should not have, should not have been boastful on that front. He's halfway there. Whoa, we got him living on a prayer. Oh, he got me on that one. Oh, parry, baby. Totally intentional. Staggered. I realized that I should probably take a potion, and I will here in just a minute. Like, right now, actually. That was just kind of gross. He won't be gone for long. No, he's going to come back up and try to swallow us again. Maintain your distance or get kind of sucked toward him. 
And then you have an opportunity to stab him in the face, is what we've learned. No, fool here. no, absolutely not. When the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1 before time runs out to evade the oncoming attack. Alright. Again, plenty of time. But this that's because it's a it's a demo. Right? Like they're they're showing us how to do it, and we cannot expect it to be like that in the future. I'm in your desk. Oh, is this new? No, we've seen this before. We just didn't effectively dodge it. Now that's new. That's interesting. That's like an angry charge. That hit nothing. I'd rather we made it die. It just fell over, though. What you fell over for? Oh, right into the pool we go. I've never- I didn't never thought that fighting a plant would be this intense. I was kind of hoping that I would time that in such a way that it would count as a parry, but it didn't quite work out like that. Okay, this is gonna be it. We've gotta figure- we've gotta finish it off here. No shot we don't. We didn't, so I shouldn't have said no shot, because we absolutely did not. Also, get out of the way of it. It's about to do its weird little stomp around again. I like that it calls that wild rage. Like, that's how it interprets wild rage to be. Just waddling around in a field like a toddler. You know how toddlers tend to waddle around in the field, throwing their arms around? We did it! In the end, we got there. And we leveled up! Alright! Now, is it edible? It's probably loaded with carcinogens. We shouldn't. My lord. Thanks. I never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but... More balls, too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Damned blight. Okay. Well, I feel like we kind of blazed right through that. Yeah, let's carry on to uh, Phoenix Gate and inevitably watch something awful happen to all of our friends and loved ones. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from the northern raiding parties, but also serves as sacred ground whereupon the duchy, the, the, the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. It, but, uh, now... Now, with the position there of uh, of that there swampland, I do wonder how exactly it got infested with blight creatures, but not this. I'm, I'm confused about the... Oh, this has... this has bad vibes. Of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a marvel's gullet. It's basically what happened. It's close enough. This has the vibe of like everyone's about to be poisoned and they're all going to die. I'm just assuming bad things are coming, right? 
Because we have to get from this to the intro. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye. And one of these nights, he may even deign to join us. <laughs> Need to eat up, little Phoenix boy. This is why you're sick all the time. You need more red meat and butter. Are you unwell? No, Father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. What he said moments before being squished by a large rock. We assume it's him. He did say my brother. What's the dog? Poor Jill. She'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. I mean, he found his way to you. Where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> 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 Again, with that little red star off to the uh, the bottom left there. Something sus going on there. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. As they should. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. We just had a theory. I don't have the strength, but you do.
Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. In the water. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <laughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Orgel. Yeah, that kid's gonna die. I just had a theory, uh, or an idea, a, a possibility pop into my head. Maybe he dies here. And maybe when we see that squished guy underneath that boulder later, that's not our actual brother. That's just us remembering the time we watched our brother get squished in the past. And we're thinking about how we failed him, just like we failed the guy that just got squished by a rock. It's a theory. A howdy folks theory. Supplies from the capital. No. No, I don't think so. No, supplies arriving in the middle of the night can wait outside the gate till morning. Now open it up. Open it up, you good. Good. Open it up, you good. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. Nothing good comes from this. Nothing good comes from good this. Job the North is full of enterprising traders, keen to keep us in wine. Spare a barrel for the boys. I knew it. What in the? No, don't. What you gotta do it on an out. Do it. Do a shout. Do what bad things are happening, kind of. <sighs> this is why we can't have good things. The enemies are inside the walls. Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. This dude is just like passed out and there's a whole red wedding happening downstairs. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Is the castle not made out of rock? Can it not... It, does rock burn? Follow me, your highness. Oh, I don't know about this at all. I'm paying as a little bloy now. A little bloy now. Bloy. B-L-O-Y. Bloy. Well, I've got cool fire powers, though. I can make a, a Lumos Maxim. Maxos? Lumos? Uh, 
Words are difficult at times. Sometimes I just can't quite get them out right. I guess we're going to flee now in terror. Can I do an attack? Oh my gosh, I absolutely can, and I've got a loadout. Are the enemy already inside the castle? Dude! Oh, but it exhausts us. Right, because we're a little ill and sickly. That's right. I'm assuming we're not going into any of these little doors here. That's okay. Where did the guy go? Are there supplies to be found around here? Can I replay these levels, or do we just come back to them if I reselect them on the world map? I mean, I guess that's just as well if we wanted to go back and explore them. Just returning to them is fine, too. But I do hear panic screaming. That? It sounded like panic screams, if I had to guess. Disagree? Disagree? Is their job what they're doing? Yes. Yes, and our only ability is to catch things even further on fire than they already are. Not sure if that's going to be super effective. So we, we don't actually... are we Do we have a sword when we do that attack? Or are we just, like, making a blade of flame? Deep breaths there, kid. I saw them at the feast. They were laughing. Yes. But then they got Trojan horsed. But why would the Empire... We must find my father... Okay, it might not be the Empire. They might just have their clothes, right? This could be an elaborate ploy. This is like multi-levels of deception here. Also, Dad's gonna die. Dad is gonna die, and we're probably gonna get taken by the enemy, and maybe maybe that's the plot. Maybe Little Lad doesn't actually die. Maybe Little Lad, lad just gets taken, and our goal is to rescue him, or something along those lines. Oh my gosh, do you reckon this is where the fight from the beginning of the game comes in? Are we going to turn into the Phoenix and and fight uh, Ifrit? Is that what this is going to turn into? Damn it, the bastards are everywhere. Why would the Empire do this? They're our allies. Again, could not be the Empire, could be someone else. We're unsure at this moment. Do we want to go forward or do we want to go down? It looks like we can technically do both. I'm not sure what is the ideal direction to proceed in. This looks like it might be a dead end. It's just us in the sky. Sorry about that, pal. That's a pretty good combo we've got going with this guy, though. Just shoot him from a distance and then let him come in. Hold on, let's not pro progress that direction. I want to see if we can actually run down the staircase and whether or not there's anything interesting down there. One of these is clearly the correct direction, right? My concern with going down here is that it'll be the end. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah, this is just a dead end. All right, well, I'm glad we came down here and explored and there was nothing down here to find. The, the reason is if we had continued on and we triggered the next part of the story, I'd be spending the next 12 hours trying to figure out whether or not we'd missed anything down here. And I can now confirm that, in fact, there was nothing of worth or value for us to see there. If we return to this location later, like from the world map, are we going to... Is it still going to be on fire? Will there be other quests here? How does this game work? We've not figured it out yet. Tyler! Yeah, Tyler's seen better days. Damn it! His wounds are deep. I can save him. Yeah, we can like cauterize the wound. Or we can use confetti power. Don't worry, you're going to be all right. <laughs> It's like, you know how when you have a wound and it's starting to heal and it itches really bad? It's that, but all the way through his insides, and they're full of confetti now. It's got to tickle something fierce. <laughs> Brief moment of levity. Clive! Joshua! Come here. Tyler, you're hurt. Survive, thanks to his highness. Okay, so we've got our little band of heroes yes. here. Lord Murdoch. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. 
Maybe let's not stay in the burning building. Stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. I just, Dad's about to get shot by an arrow or something. Dad is not making it through this encounter. Only a lost Alan to Isan Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father? Take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? Kid, that's what we're trying to do here. I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I will do my duty. You must do your duty, too. I... I know. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. I thought for sure he was about to just take a slash at him. Like, the twist is that he's betrayed them. But no. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, actually. Wow. Well, you know what would be wild right now? Is if we grabbed this and we called it here for the day. Thank you, folks, for watching. God bless you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Nice. Okay, I have to go to the restroom now. So, I'm going to have to make a new scene that says be right back, but not because of technical issues. I just have to go to the bathroom. So, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Freshly uh, restroomed. 
and I got a sip of drinkage. So I didn't bring my drink with me, though. I had in my bedroom next to the bathroom a bottle of water, and I took a chug out of it. And I, I put the lid back on, and then I just left it there. Thought I had to burp. I think I'm good. Let's start up a new recording. Howdy, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16 The Adventure, where we left off last time inside of a burning castle with our good friend and thankfully not a betrayer of the family trust. And we're just going to go ahead and get right into combat. I forgot that we'd switched characters, so obviously my loadouts are different, and I've got to try to remember what all of my abilities are and how to use them and not die. Dodge is important. Need to remember how to dodge. Yes! We're doing great right now. These guys were almost as easy as the goblin. Well, no. Everyone's dead. No, the goblins were objectively the easiest thing I've ever fought in a video game before. Which, you know, they're tutorial monsters, so they should be. I think we came through that door. Meaning we want to go back through this door? Now, maybe? Unless I got it wrong? No, this is definitely the direction we want to go. I would have picked up this loot beforehand otherwise. Yeah, no, everyone in the army's dead. We kind of assumed that this would be the case previously it definitely seemed like we were heading towards like a uh, like a, a night before a big battle everyone gets executed situation Captain, how do you see in that you don't you don't see in that there's no shot this man can see what's happening outside of his mask Let none escape. As you command. You take care of Right o I'll keep the others occupied. Well, I mean, we're just like ripping through them right now. I don't Whoa, oh, hi, you're just here now. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm doing good. Fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Oh, brother. No. Something bad's about to happen. Did we all just see them spawn into existence just then? Or, like, was that my imagination? Thank you for giving me time to remember what button I'm supposed to be pressing. I appreciate it. May I have this dance? I'd rather not give it to you. <laughs> That's a funny title. The Imperial Dragoon. Oh, sir. Okay, I'm sorry I laughed at your silly title. I mean, it's still silly, but I apologize all the same. It's good that he gave me a little warning that he was about to drop, I guess. We've almost got him staggered here. Oh, son. I definitely dodged too early on that. That's on me. I miss I misread the attack telegraph. Yeah, let's get him into the stagger. Oh, my boy does dodging. My boy does some mad dodging. It's always bad when the bad guy is better at dodging than me, because I'm really bad. Also, have we like managed to successfully do a parry intentionally? I don't think so. It's mostly just been accidents. Every time it's happened so far. Whoa, baby! Precision- I mean, I'm doing pretty good on the dodges. They give you plenty of time on them, which is appreciated. If you time them correctly, that is. Oh. My man's, like, living life entirely in defiance of gravity. I'm working on it, but I don't have the ability to move yet. Don't yell at me, thank you. That boy. I doubt it. Oh, he's doing it multiple times. Okay, the rules have changed. Your 
Maybe we should actually try to do a parry. Might happen the third time. We don't know. It could change. The fight could change again. We don't know. What is this called? The Night of the Blinding Dawn? That's a bit of a rich title there, sir. A bit presumptuous, too. I don't feel like I'm going to be blinded by the dawn. I feel like I'm going to slap the living Scarlet out of you, and that's going to be the end of this. Okay, we, we know what? We tried to do the same move there, and I'll, I'll admit, you did it a little bit better than I did. Here comes the third one. No? Okay. I just, I'm expecting it now. That was kind of anticlimactic. But at the end, we got him. That's the most important thing. And another level up. We seem to level up at the end of every level. It's almost too perfect. Are you hurt? I mean, I'm fine. only emotionally. So, they sent in the dragoons. <laughs> Imperial vipers. <laughs> okay. Do they really mean to sure. invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us. What if there are others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Oh my gosh, did we get to ride a chocobo? Uh, what is that? It's called a migraine. Oh, see, now you're seeing things. You're having some sort of, uh... Oh, you know what? This seems like a vitamin deficiency more than anything. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just eat, make sure you have a nice varied diet, or at least you're taking supplements. Yeah, no, that's fine. I saw a lizard on a wall once that wasn't there. It was really late. I hadn't had enough sleep. Kind of. I mean, like you've just been woken up to everyone you know and love being murdered. So, like, you're you're gonna just see random things sometimes. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. Torgal is gonna die in some way, and I'm gonna feel worse about it than this boy dying. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. I don't trust these men at all. Joshua. Hmm? Our, 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 our dad's about to get stabbed in the back. Yeah, well, okay, not quite our dad. Father? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Oh no! You, you are the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Pig. Oh, right on to the, that! You're not getting over that. No, you you carry that with you for the rest of your life. That right there. Don't kill Wade. We just we just uh, don't do it. Run, little boy! Awaken the phoenix! Do something! Don't die like this! I have to keep father safe. <laughs> I'm just a bit late for that. I had to! Oh my gosh, the whole hour of his life is flashing before him. Oh my gosh! Have we ever had that in a Final Fantasy game before? Bro! Well, they're dead too, I guess. 
Oh, here we go. Are we about to fight? Ifrit, is that what's about to happen? The Phoenix! Joshua! Lord Murdoch! His Highness! Joshua! Stop this! He's lost control! I have to do something! I agree, get to a safe distance. Fall back! I literally don't think there's anything we can do to hurt him, or anything we can do to help him, and nothing anyone else can do to hurt him at this point. Oh, Chocobo's dead. Tried their best. They died for us. We're gonna have to put it out of its misery now. This is a brutal game so far. Golly! Thank you, God. You saved my life. Oh. Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Ah! Shave him. So I shave him? My lord? Oh good, the chocobo's alive though. Made a valiant escape. Have we been chosen by Ifrit? Or is this like a different third party that has entered the scene? Second in the color of fire. That's impossible. Oh god, did he just die? <laughs> what just happened? I'm so confused! So is it literally brother v brother here? Is that what this is? Okay, this is like when the little brother gets out of control and mom, aren't dad, mom and dad aren't home to uh, to control the situation. So br big brother comes downstairs. Yeah, okay, we're back at the start of the game. Are we actually gonna play from the other direction now? That was a joke earlier. Is that gonna happen now? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, the following commands are available when playing as the Phoenix. Fire, aim, evade. I don't think we had aim before. Okay, yeah, so we have to manually do this. I'll kill you, Icon. I'm pretty sure that's our brother. I, I, I don't know if we really want to kill him. Our, our family is, like, dwindling at this point. Okay, I know we took a big hit just then. I'll kill you. Yeah, you can keep saying it, but it's not intimidating coming from a little boy. Also, we are falling to the depths of the earth. Is no one concerned by this? Okay, we avoided him that time. We are not dealing enough damage here. Back into Moria. It's a little bit less epic with the little boy screaming in the background. It was done better in the intro. Sorry, you know what this place is? I mean, to be fair, we initiated the uh, fight sequence. He literally was just looking at us and we started yelling, leave me alone. So all of this destruction is entirely on your head right now, little boy. Also, your father being dead is your burden to bury because it was your responsibility to protect him. Yes. 
At any point, I'm sure we could stop this attack and we, everything would be fine. We've simply chosen to not to. Have to stop him. I don't know if we can. The music is incredible. It's extremely intense. This is all visually stunning. It feels kind of like watching a movie a little bit. I just wish I had context, right? Like, where are we right now? Why did our, uh, I assume our brother turned into a second icon of fire. What is happening right now? It's just insane! It's just lights and color and noise! I feel like these stone structures must be very brittle. Because I don't feel like we're doing enough here to destroy them, yet they are crumbling. Oh, I can just hold down the attack button. I don't actually have to press it multiple times. That's convenient. It's like a machine gun of magical sparkles. I'm sorry. Do I need to be attacking that thing or him? I don't know. Have I failed? I, I feel like I got him in the end. He literally has no health left. What do you mean too late? What? happened I mean a lot a lot just happened how many of our own guys have we like accidentally squished at this point Classic. You win in the fight and then lose in the cutscene. Toggle? I love that the dog is just like nearby.
So is Clive not Ifrit? Joshua! Stop it! Are we seeing the world through the dog's perspective? I swore! I would protect him! Please! Please! Stop it! Brother's dead. Take it back. Brother's fine. Well, fine. I mean, like... Take it back. Brother's dead. Might take a lot but for a phoenix to be reborn after you. that. I'll fucking kill you! Guess that whole icon of fire's defeated thing was a lie. Uh... Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? I knew she was sus! And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. No, she doesn't care about this one. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Mom, what did we ever do to you? Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Mom is the worst. She's good looking though. For, why? For what? For what? For why? For what? 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 What did they do? Why? She, she's literally the worst. Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier, Joshua. I. None of what has happened. Oh, good title screen. Good. Fantastic. And we're back. Wake up there, soldier. Sun's getting real low. It's been 13 years. So that's why we screamed brother. So our brother did not actually get squished by a rock. No, he got torn apart by Ifrit. Arguably a worse death, much slower and more drawn out. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. 
We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Tell him, Wyvern. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. My gosh. Awoken. A chance encounter. Uh, the icon abilities Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped on the gear and icons tab. How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Well, I feel like that's enough for today. <laughs> That was very overwhelming. There was lots of explosions and fire. I I need I need to go like drink some water and sit on the porch and contemplate my age and, and the universe and everything. So I'm gonna go do that. Thank you for watching. To the channel members who help support this series and some of whom tuned in to watch me record it live, thank you. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. All right. God bless you. Bye. So I actually, um, I recorded that as three separate episodes, but I might cut out the, the goodbyes and the hellos and just string that together into, oh. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> Hold on. I recorded that as three separate episodes, but I might cut out the intros and outros and just stream it together as one long episode. And I don't know. We'll see. Because I feel like having all of that, like, backstory and everything in one long continuous video would probably be for the best. Oh, what do you think so far, Gilliam? Oh, welcome to the members only wind down from the recording. Final Fantasy. It's my Plantasy, Antasy, Fantasy, Cantasy, Dantasy. Final Fantasy, it's what I'm excited to see. Can't wait to continue tomorrow with you. This was the demo? So is that, is that where the demo ended? I didn't play the demo, so... It's looking good? Good, yeah. That makes sense that that's where the demo ended. So I can just have that video run and it'll basically be like watching the demo, I suppose. Um, right. Well, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. It is looking good, yeah. I'm excited. It's much more raw than like 7 Remake. Keep in mind, the only Final Fantasy games I've played in my life are the original Final Fantasy 7, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core Reunion, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. That's it. That's it. And a little bit of Final Fantasy XV for, like, a channel members only video. We're going to go back to that one eventually. I got to say, in terms of, like, looking good, not only does it, like, feel like a fun game to play, it looks good. Just look at this screen right now. Look at that, rock look at that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Well, we will go ahead. And if it will allow, we'll go ahead and save right now. Beautiful. Fantastic. And yeah, we'll pick up later. I'm gonna go actually get up and, and stretch my legs. Maybe look over this footage a little bit. I've got so much to do today. We obviously are not streaming Zelda today. But I've gotta just record a lot and finish plotting out the Tekkit finale. Um, spoilers, I guess. I think Tekkit's gonna end on episode 50. And I think I've got the remaining 11 episodes plotted out. And I just have to sit down and actually record them now which should be a fun time. Cool. Well. 
It is. We're looking at it. We're looking at the future of gaming. You're not wrong, Gilliam. You're definitely not wrong. Hey, let's go ahead and read through the channel members' names. Because it's been a while. And there's a lot more of them. Uh, Purple Lemons has changed his uh, avatar. So, for those of you who don't know, I mostly recognize folks by their avatars, not by their usernames. And anytime they change, it's very confusing for me. Uh, it takes me a while to get used to it. So every time I see Purple Lemons, I look at the avatar first. And I'm like, who has a troll face? Who is that? And then it takes a second. And I'm like, Purple Lem... Oh. All right. Big shout out to the legendary Lucas Gitz, the otherworldly Purple Lemons, the fabled Maria Amor, the otherworldly Jake Gates, the fabled Mario, the mythic Gilliam, the fabled Gert the Goff, the fabled Ryan Wilson, the fabled GSNL, the mythic Ben Redout, the fabled Connor Edwards, the fabled Bass Odding, the fabled Jenkas 64, the fabled Roald Bastiansen, the fabled Spot Gaming, the fabled David Grindle, the fabled James Davis, and the other fabled James Davis, the mythic Heather Hancock, the fabled Nifey or Nephi or, or, or Knife, could just be Knife. Knifey seems right. Uh, the fabled Phoenix Emperor, the fabled JC Light, the fabled Gamer225, the fabled Rigatonia, and the fabled Zevzi. Maybe. Thank you all for your continued support. And hopefully, this new, like doing the live streams for like the mythic tier and up helps to separate the mythic tier because for a very long time you do you have a very unique icon gilliam that's why i know it's you by just seeing your avatar like all i do is glance at that and i don't even have to read your name but then also your name like is structured in my brain like i can sometimes you can close your eyes and it's hard to visualize a word but i can see gilliam spelled out i've seen it so many times you're like in every chat which i always appreciate but um what was i saying oh yeah i've been trying to think of like how do i separate the fabled from the mythic Right? Because it's a $2 difference. I don't want to take any content that I've already made available to everyone and make it available exclusively to the Mythic tier. I don't want to take away value from the Fabled tier. So I was like, I've got to do a new thing. I've got to create something new and and for the Mythic. So I think the, the streams for Mythic and up. And then I'll make the archives available to everyone, I think. So if anyone missed the archive or if anyone's at a lower tier, they can still go back and watch it. So that's what I think we're going to do. I love this little icon. I just realized. Look at that little pixel art icon. Oh my gosh, and he, he moves. That's wonderful. All right, well, I'm going to go now. Thank you for tuning in.